An implantable cardioverter defibrillator, or ICD, is a small device that can save your life. An ICD has two main parts, a battery-powered device, called the generator, placed under the skin, and thin wires, called LEDs, that go into the heart. These leads constantly monitor the heartbeat. If the leads detect a dangerous arrhythmia, like ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation, they send a signal to the generator, which then delivers an electric shock through the same leads to the heart to restore a normal rhythm and prevent sudden cardiac arrest. ICDs are typically used in people who have survived sudden cardiac arrest or are at high risk due to weakened heart function from conditions like ischemic or non-ischemic cardiomyopathy or certain genetic conditions like Brugada or long QT syndromes. There are different types, single chamber, dual chamber, and biventricular ICDs, each tailored to specific needs. Single-chamber ICDs use one lead placed in the right ventricle to detect and treat abnormal rhythms. Dual-chamber ICDs have two leads, one in the right atrium and one in the right ventricle, offering more precise rhythm monitoring and pacing when needed. And biventricular ICDs, or cardiac resynchronization therapy with defibrillator, designed for patients with heart failure, use three leads, right atrium, right ventricle, and left ventricle to help the heart beat in a more coordinated and efficient way. While generally safe, they come with potential complications, such as infection, lead dislodgement, inappropriate shocks, and anxiety. Regular follow-up visits are important to ensure the device is functioning properly, so regular checkups are key. ICDs are not suitable for individuals with a life expectancy under one year due to other serious illnesses or if the arrhythmia is caused by a temporary, reversible condition. Understanding ICDs helps patients and providers make informed decisions about heart health.